saving your soul. So, why should your soul so completely be saved on this side? Because you can never take in your place on this side if your soul is not saved to such an extent that you can take your place on this side. It is so important that you take in your place and that you accomplish your victories in Jesus' name by His grace on this side so that you can enjoy the privileges on the other side in Jesus' name. So how will we get this right? Set it going to with me and you, by ourselves, besides the Lord, it is impossible. But the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthened me. God doesn't worry where you have been born. God doesn't worry if you were educated or not. If you stick to Him, He will take you where you need to be. Give Him a hand. <clears throat> Say to God next to if you stick to Jesus and you, and, and you link yourself to His Word, He will take you where you need to, no matter where you've been born. He is looking, he doesn't look at your background, your education, education, the village you grew up in, the country you grew up in, and what culture you've been born into. He looks at one thing, that is your heart. That is all that he is interested in is your heart. He searched out his people with upright hearts, who's got a heart to, after him. And he, he searched them out. And collect them and draw them by his spirit. So Jesus said, no one that the Father has given me will go lost. So who's giving souls to Jesus? The Father. And he brings them. He search out the people with hearts. Even among Satanists, among Native Americans, among Chinese, wherever they are, he search them out. And he revealed himself to them and he sent people there to preach to them and they will be saved in Jesus' name. But every single person get the opportunity. Is God the God of partiality? No. No. He gives everyone the same chance. He gives everyone the same chance. Everyone get the same opportunity. So sometimes we lie to one another. We say, um, underprivileged people, etc., etc. That's nonsense. God gave everyone the same chance. Which even if a person grew up in the richest country and the richest neighborhood, it's not to say it's going to make heaven. Then another man might grow up in the Amazon and a Native American village. God looks at his heart. You think this one is underprivileged and that one had a more opportunity? Nonsense. The one grew up in Hollywood. He's got, the one in the Amazon maybe got a better chance to reach the potential that Jesus had in mind for him. You see what is important to people is not important to God. You might think this is a movie star. Ooh. Oh, he is, he, he's, he lives in Hollywood. Oh, this man is someone important. That is not important to God at all, nothing. That what, what is to people important is to God unimportant. And sometimes he detests that. What is in, to people unimportant is many times to God very important. So you can think, this is a movie star. He's in the movies. Oh, he, he is more privileged than the guy who grew up in the Amazon jungle in some Native American village. Say to God, to, don't believe like a fool. Think like God. Maybe the one in the Amazon jungle has got a far more chance to make it than the one who grew up in Hollywood with all his riches. And all this nice food and all this nice clothing. Everyone get, his, get a, a fair, fair, ample, fair opportunity. Everyone. Amen. Give Jesus' name.